In this video, we're going over how sciatica occurs and how to fix it. If you've heard of the terminology sciatica before, we really need to define what that means. So sciatica is a type of pain that comes from the sciatic nerve when it leaves our back or in our hip. Now this sciatica pain is a tingling sensation or a sharp shooting pain that follows this nerve pattern that goes from our low back and travels down our leg. So some of the symptoms we get with sciatica-like pain is numbness or tingling in our leg, a sharp shooting pain down our leg, even a dull achiness into the back of our glutes or even into our groin. One of the most common causes from sciatica is a bulging disc. This means the disc in our lower back is actually pushing out backwards where it exits the spine. So the first cause of sciatica pain could be a bulging disc. Now what a bulging disc means is a space in between the bones in the lower back that gets crushed down and causes the fluid, which is a shock absorber in your spine, to push out in one direction, causing inflammation and impingement on the nerve as it exits the spine. To solve the problem of having sciatica caused by a bulging disc, there's a couple different exercises that we can do. One of my favorite exercises is called a McKenzie extension exercise. We're simply going to lay on the floor on our stomach in a press up position. So as we lay face down on the floor, put our elbows, kind of tuck those underneath us. As we tuck our elbows underneath us, we're going to slowly push off with our hands, leaving our hips on the floor, slowly arching our back backwards, extending the lumbar spine. The concept of this exercise is to push the fluid that's bulging backwards out onto the nerve we're going to take that fluid and push it forward instead of backwards. Another cause of sciatic pain could be spinal stenosis, which means where your spinal cord goes down through your bones gets a little smaller, and it actually shrinks and pinches on the spinal cord. Now this could be caused by a couple different reasons. The most commonly is arthritis in the lower back. When we have two joints that press together a lot and there's not a lot of space between the bones, it will actually cause the bones to grow extra bone and make that canal where the spinal cord sits a little smaller. If we're standing up and it hurts more, that's gonna be a more common issue in spinal stenosis. So in order to get away from this pain, we're going to simply lean forward while supporting our arms across the back of a chair or a sofa to decompress and open up the spine in the back. With stenosis, it's going to feel better if we lean forward to get away from the pain. This will help reduce our symptoms for sciatica pain due to spinal stenosis because we're putting direct pressure on the spinal cord as we lean forward while we're supporting our weight that opens up the joints in between the spine and it causes less pain because the bones are not pinching on the nerve versus a disc is actually going to feel worse when you lean forward because the disc is a fluid filled sac that's bulging backwards onto the nerve and so leaning forward will cause more pain with a disc but leaning forward will feel better with spinal stenosis. A third way sciatica occurs is not from the low back at all, it's actually from a lower muscle called the piriformis muscle. This is also known as piriformis syndrome, where the muscle in the back of our hip gets too tight and puts direct pressure over the sciatic nerve. Now the sciatic nerve runs from your lower back down through your pelvis and it goes underneath this muscle. So when the piriformis muscle is tight and it puts pressure on that nerve, it will cause that tingliness or radiation down our leg and it's going to be worse, especially at night when we are at rest. There's an easy way to stretch the piriformis muscle. So by simply sitting in our chair, putting one ankle on the other knee, and as we sit up straight, we're going to push our belly button down and puff our chest out. With this stretch, we should feel an aggravation or more symptoms in the back of our hip with the knee that's bent. For example, as I stretch out the piriformis muscle on the right side where I'm getting my sciatic pain, I'm going to put my right ankle on my left knee. As I put my right ankle on my left knee, I'm going to sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna slowly puff my chest out and lean forward, keeping my back straight. As I feel this stretch, I'm feeling a numbness or tingling a little tiny bit in my right back pocket where that piriformis muscle is compressing on the sciatic nerve. 
We are stretching this muscle out. It's okay to have symptoms while you're doing this stretch, but as we relieve the stretch, it should relieve some of the symptoms in our sciatic nerve and cause less of that pain and radiation down your leg. These are the main reasons why we have sciatica pain. It could either be a bulging disc, spinal stenosis, or piriformis syndrome. All three of these send that pain down your leg and mimic each other. If you've tried these stretches, please comment below which one was the most helpful for you. It's important to understand what is going on with your body and how to fix it. And that's why you wanna to subscribe to my other videos below and make sure you don't miss my next video.